Welcome, dear students. Today we will study the OL level of IGCSE biology. And we will discuss the main characteristics of living organisms. First characteristics is respiration. 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 The respiration is the release of energy from food inside the living cell. So the living cell releases energy which is stored inside the food. Number two, nutrition. It's obtaining of organic substances and mineral ions as a source of energy and a raw material for building growth and tissue repair. So the cell obtains organic substance, the mineral ion, and it uses it as a source of energy and raw material for growth and tissue repair. Number three, the excretion. The excretion is removal of wastes and toxic wastes. So, it's the removal of toxic material waste products of metabolism. So, the metabolism produces waste and toxic material. Those wastes and toxic material should be secreted and removed from inside the cell. Reproduction. It is the ability of living organism to produce new individual of the same kind. New individual of same kind typical or somewhat identical to the organism or, or the living organism growth growth is the permanent increase in the size and mass first size second mass of an organism due to formation of new protoplasm so the gross is permanent increase in the size and mass of an organism due to formation of new protoplasm mainly increase in size and mass of organism movement or locomotion Locomotion is the ability of living organism to move partially or in whole of its body. It can move part of its body or the whole body moves from one place into another. So, a part of the organism can move or the whole body of the organism moves. Sensitivity or irritability. It's the ability of a living organism to detect first, have sense or detect or feel and respond to different stimuli. Stimuli like light, sound, radiation, of any kind, magnetic, magnetism, too many stimuli, chemical substances, and so on. Thank you and goodbye. See you.